what's going on this is legend of all about the kicks subscribe to that channel put a like on that button now we're talking about boosie again i know they're saying that boosie is jealous of blue because blue doing his thing and he don't want to pay him he ain't doing this we not talking about that situation rest in peace to my legendary singer rapper slash drake ja Wu type of dude mo3 now mo3 look up to boosie boosie was his mentor um, they did a, a, a mixtape together. If you, I call it an album. Um, the seat, the song was, the album was fire. They came up with a couple of videos, everything, dope, 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 dope album. Mo3 was one of my favorite rappers, man. Um, I got into Mo3 with Flat TV, did a few interviews with him, and I was like, who is this dude? Yo, like he sounds like he dope. Let me listen to some of his music. Fell in love with the music, man. The music, real is so full is like it's dope you know what i mean i liked it he was talented man um he got set up i think you know with a female he had a lot of beef with a lot of people in his town i wish he would have moved and just left and went somewhere else and i think he'd still be alive um anybody want to know why mo3 never signed with boosie boosie cheap <laughs> boosie cheap boosie don't want to pay I mean, he'll spend money on him and his kids and all that stuff. But Boosie is cheap. Boosie don't, <laughs> don't want to pay nobody, man. Like, I'm not saying this. His brother, I don't know what's going on with him and his brother, man. They really beefing. I know Blue um, is his, you know, he's Blue manager. And I think he was a Mo3 manager, too. Um, but, like, his brother saying that, you know, Boosie didn't want to pay nobody. I feel sorry they're going to be on his label, you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. And I feel like Boosie, you know, I guess he feel like, you know, I'm Boosie signing me with no money, no advance. I mean, that happens for a couple of people. T-Pain did that. I think T-Pain signed for like 30000 or something with Akon because at the time Akon didn't have all the, you know, all the money he did what he got now. And it worked out for yeah, it worked out for eight. It worked out for uh, T-Pain. It doesn't work for everybody. Like you need that advance money to put your album out promote do all that stuff i mean sign you got to sign you know you, you sign with somebody you want to get a little money you know what i'm saying who wants to go to a label and don't have no money and you, you know what i mean and then you sign the paperwork and then you out of luck so that's why mo3 didn't sign with boosie he wanted to sign with boosie but boosie didn't want to pay and like i said they still did albums together they still did mixtapes tapes and all that and they all was fire i feel like when boosie did a, you know, a song with Mo3, it just came out crazy. Mo3, Mo3 not to pick the beats out, and it was just out of control. Like I said, I wish they would have still did music together, but you know, Mo3 died, got killed in Dallas on a highway, and I just feel like that shit was crazy. We lost too many good rappers, man. He was so talented that. I don't know where he would have been right now. Like, he definitely would have signed to a major label. I know he was independent. He definitely would have had a major deal. Six figures or something like that. And um, it would, he would have been, been out of here. He was already out of here already. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He had a nice fan base and everything. Like I said, I, he grew on me, man. Like, I first heard his album. I was like, yo, this dude's a beast. You know what I mean? He had a, a you know, a real chunk, a real... Um, Messed up childhood a little bit, went to jail for a couple of times, and he changed his life and just started making great music. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like, you know, a female set him up. It happens all the time. Females always set somebody up. But that's the that's the situation with Boosie, man. Boosie, you got to pay your people, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's why Blue don't want to pay you. <laughs> Next topic. Let's talk about Young Bird, aka Hitmaker. Listen, Young Bird is a ten. Listen, he could rap his ass off back in the day. Like y'all can sleep on Young Bird all y'all want. That boy can rap. Now he's, you know, he's a producer now, and he came a long way. 2013, he worked on Nicki Minaj album. Um, he needs to leave these women alone. What I mean, leave on alone. He he signed he signed like females, artists and stuff, and he, he sleeps with them. And then if he sleeps with them, he done with them. <laughs> That's what Young Bird, Young Bird been doing that since the mid two thousands. But like he got this new girl he just signed. She had one hit song, and 
now she's talking stuff about him doing this, doing that. Young Bird got to be careful because remember when he was on Love and Hip Hop with Asika. Asika is the girl that got a baby by uh, Fetty Wap. Um, you know, she put paws on him. He put paws on her. And that almost ruined him too. So he got to be careful, man. I feel like, listen, you're going to sign an artist or work with an artist. You can't sleep with them, man. Because, you know, they're going to get fill-ins. If you don't give them a track, they're going to get mad. If you give a track to another girl, it's going to be problems. It's always happen that way. It's not going to never stop. So, Young Bird, a.k.a. Hitmaker, one of the dopest producers out here. He's been doing his thing for the last 10 years. But a lot of, remember a lot of y'all was dissing him, clowning him, doing all types of stuff. Now y'all all coming to him to get beats. It's crazy. But like I said, you need to chill out, man. Hitmaker, you need to just focus on, just keep doing the great music you've been doing for the last nine to eight years. And, and stay away from the girls that you're producing. Because listen, B, you don't need no crazy charge. And listen, man, there's too much of this stuff going on right now. A lot of these women trying to bring you down if you don't give them what they want. So Hitmaker, get yourself together, man. You've been doing this a lot, man. You've been doing this since you've been rich. You know what I'm saying? So you need to, the dude is talented. You got to give his credit. I wish he would do music again. I mean, like do his own album. But I mean, he ain't going to do that. But you want to listen to a lot of Hitmaker songs, Young Bird, you could. Remember Young Bird got his chain taken away <laughs> back in the mid-2000s around... 08, 09, Trick Trick of them took his chain, you know what I'm saying, he was running around on tour with it and everything, but Young Bird's a funny dude, man, I like him, uh, he's been working with a lot of Jeremiah, you know, that's his main guy, so, and, you know, top down the sign, they write, you know, they got a team, they work, they work on a lot of songs, they write songs for other artists and stuff, so, salute to them, man, but he just need to stay away the artists he's signing and putting out. Because, like, if you give them a hit song and don't give them another hit song, you know, they can lie on you, man. And females these days right now, 2023, <laughs> they can ruin your life. That's topic. it.